Up until now, we've been talking about lines. Parallel lines, two lines cut by a transversal. Well, what we're going to do now is we are going to place our lines on a Cartesian plane. And that is just your standard two-dimensional x and y plane. The reason we're going to do that is because then we can use equations to give the exact locations of our lines. Well, we already know from postulate 5 that two points define a line. Specifically, through any two points, there exists exactly one line. This means if we have two points on a Cartesian plane, we can come up with the equation for that line. And these videos will show you how to do that. First, you need to know the general equa equation of a line that we'll use most commonly, and that's the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. The slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of your line, b is the vertical intercept, and it's sometimes called the y-intercept. Also, x is your input, and y is the output. Well, let's talk about these different parts, specifically our slope and our vertical intercept. Slope is the change in the output for an equal change in input, and it represents a rate of change. This is a huge idea. For example, if I have my Cartesian plane, we always like to number and label our axes so that we know exactly what we're looking at. Okay. Say we had some points on this plane. Say we had the point 1 comma 0 and 3 3. We know there is exactly one line that will go through both those points. What we see is that for every two unit change, oh, that's unfortunate, there we go, two unit change in our x value, we see a three unit change in the y. So our graph goes up three units every time we go right for two units, and that would be the slope. So we have a rate of change of a three unit increase in y for every two unit increase in x. And that is the change in y over the change in x. Or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Some of you have probably even heard of rise overrun. If slope makes sense to you, let's move on to vertical intercept. If not, take a moment, re-watch this video, make sure that slope makes sense, especially the idea of a rate of change. It's how quickly our y value or output is changing for every equal increment change in our x value or our input.